Mm. You smelled it too. Yeah, that's yummy. It smells so good. This is what I'm telling you. Make me smile curry. Today we are making my yellow curry and if you have been around my space for even just a little bit of time, you probably know this recipe. It is one of my favorites. I make it all the time and in fact I now call it my make me smile yellow curry because every time I'm cooking it, I catch myself smiling. When I'm eating it, I catch myself smiling. And when I'm eating the leftovers the next day, I'm extra smiling. You smile too. Yeah. Everybody smile curry. You also make me smile. I go ahead and I prep all the ingredients ahead of time and then we just let it sit on the stove and do its thing. I already have my rice going. This calls for two onions. Just trust me on that, you all. It seems like a lot of onion, but it gives so much flavor to the curry. I already have one chopped here. Look how cute this one is! Oh, how tiny he is! Yellow onions tend to be smaller. No, white onions do. Never mind, redacted. Obviously, I'm using my Rachel Ray trash bowl. I love using a trash bowl for a dish that has some chopping involved. You can use any bowl. You can put trash in any bowl. Also, you all, I was reminiscing the other day. Do, don't we miss watching like Rachel Ray on the Food Network? She like grab everything in one hand or on a tray and just make her a little 30 minute dish. Those were the days. Those days were so much less complicated, don't you think? We weren't bringing together dishes in like 30 second reels. Use a trending song or do a dance or do like crazy graphics. We were wowed when she just put everything on her tray, turned around and walked it to the counter. It was like, whoa, 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 that's crazy. That can of soup almost fell off the tray. And now it's like swipe, swipe, swipe. Ugh. It's a different time. It's a different time, but I, I shall rise to the occasion. I be doing the reels. I'm on the YouTube now. I'm just going to roughly chop three cloves garlic. And because it's a rough chop, it's gonna go in with the onions. So I'm just gonna add it all to the same bowl. Harder, no, smarter, not harder. No. Yeah, why does that phrase always trip me up? I didn't, I didn't pronounce this guy naked as it was born into the world. <laughs> And that's all we have to do before we move to our stove. I have my garlic, my onion. I'm gonna use frozen ginger. I love having this on hand at all times. And this is more of a Malaysian style curry. So I actually use yellow curry powder. When you are getting your curry powder, make sure that you read the label if it's hot or mild or medium. I usually get medium. You can also use curry paste in place of the powder. I have four tablespoons of butter in here that has melted and browned. I'm gonna go ahead and add my onions and garlic, and also my frozen ginger cube. And we're gonna let this saute for a few minutes. Our onions are nice and soft, so I'm gonna go ahead and add our seasoning, which is three tablespoons curry powder, one teaspoon cumin, and two teaspoons kosher salt. Let it coat the onions. Mm. You smelled it too. Yeah, that's yummy. It smells so good. This is what I'm telling you. Make me smile curry. Now we are going to add our chicken. Of course, if you want this to be vegetarian, you can omit the chicken and add any other kind of vegetables you'd like to. I just cubed up three chicken breasts. You can also use chicken thighs. And we're gonna let the chicken cook for about three minutes and just get nice and coated in this seasoning. Our chicken is nice and coated in those aromatics. I'm gonna add a 14.5 ounce can of diced tomatoes. This is where the magic comes in. We are going to turn this heat down to low, cover it, and let it simmer for 20 minutes to really let that flavor develop. It's been 20 minutes. I'm gonna uncover and give this a nice little mix. And we're going to add our coconut milk and mix and then cover for another 20 minutes. So again, it can all really come together. It's been an additional 20 minutes. I'm just gonna uncover this. Oh my gosh, you <laughs> all. 
Oh my gosh, it smells so good. All I'm gonna do now is I have some chopped up cashews that I'm gonna add. This is actually gonna help thicken the curry a little bit more, but also it adds the best bit of saltiness to this curry. I bumped the heat back up to medium and I'm just gonna let this thicken for about five more minutes and then we're done. It has thickened. Of course, I have to taste it. You know, I'm a professional. There is no better smell. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. This dish makes me so happy. It is so good. All the flavors are there. It is rich. It is layered. There is so much flavor. I'm gonna eat all of this actually. And for you, Jeremy. What the heck? I only agreed to film this because you said I was getting curry. I lied. Before we dish up the curry serving for one, let's talk about this rice. We had dinner with friends several years ago who spent a lot of time in India. I don't know which part of India, but they said that when they served curry, their rice had golden raisins in it and cashews. And you all, I cannot eat this curry now without rice that has the raisins and the cashews. The raisins are such a delightful little pop of sweetness to a curry that has a lot of spices in it. Not spiciness, spices. And the cashews add this nice kind of crunch that is so fun. So you have to trust me. This is how we're serving our rice with curry. And this is just basmati rice. This is the thing that makes Jeremy smile the most. And here we have my make me smile yellow curry. I cannot wait to taste this. Oh, that little hit of raisin. It's like a fun little. Mm. If you have been looking for a smile or have been needing to smile, I need you to try this Make Me Smile Yellow Curry. Smile today. I'm having an existential crisis for a minute there. Curry will do that to you. <laughs> 